the intention, the intention of today's Mass is for Monsignor Jeff Wald. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. As we come before the Lord this day, we ask his mercy and healing in our lives. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Proceed for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to, Je to, to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So Jesus addressed this parable to them. What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? 
And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy. And upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me because I have found lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman, having ten coins and losing one, would not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it? And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found the coin that I lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. I just did the uh, opening prayer today I thought was interesting. It said, talk about hastening toward the Lord. And I thought, and do not stumble. <laughs> if I hasten, I could stumble. But toward the Lord, that I can do without my feet. The having a hundred sheep and losing one of them would not meet the 99 in the desert and go after the lost one till he finds it. Reminded me of a, a, uh, an event, real event that happened one day in the desert in Iraq. <clears throat> the soldiers I was with, we had a, uh, was sort of, I guess you call it a malt raid, but it wasn't a big malt, it was like hills, like black hills. But, they had an antenna on that mountain for communications, and the people who took care of the communications were not warriors, let's put it that way. They're soldiers, but they, they're not infantry, and people who do the combat stuff. So my guys went up and set up a perimeter to protect them, and our job was to protect them. And one day, and it was out in the middle of nowhere, and one day, uh, there's a group of sheep flock of sheep slowly moving along with no shepherd the whole flock and my guys knew of course that the shepherds were moving toward a minefield and a minefield of course has mines in it that go boom when you step on them and so all these sheep were moving into this mine toward the minefield they weren't there yet and no shepherd and so did my guys do they sent out a patrol even though it's dangerous, very dangerous to hear looking for the shepherd. Because they knew they couldn't get the sheep away from the minefield. Sheep are going to follow them. They don't follow the shepherd. So they found the shepherd asleep on a rock in the desert. Woke him up, took him to his sheep so he could get them out. They, and they got the sheep away before they got into the minefield. The shepherd, of course, followed them away. And they said, that was one very grateful shepherd. Because <laughs> if he lost his sheep, he lost his whole livelihood. And that's what Jesus is talking about today. Losing what we had to survive, uh, to eat. The, the woman having 10 coins, it wasn't like that. It was just spare change. That was to survive for that day. If she was going to have enough food for that day, she needed that other coin. And that's why she rejoiced when she found it. And told everybody I found it, I found it. Uh, so we have to understand that when they talk about things like this, everything that they do deal with that day. People didn't make money to put, some people did, but most people, when they would get paid that day, they would go from there to the market to get food for the family. Because that was the money they needed to buy food for that day. And so you can see where Jesus says, rejoice. And he says, in just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Now let us stand and offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord.
We pray, we pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop John, for all who hold and teach the faith throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our President, our Vice President, our Senators, Representatives, our Judicial Branch, our Governors, Mayors, Legislators, Community Leaders. We pray to the Lord. We pray for God in invoking God's power of the Holy Spirit in, in the name of Jesus to help our country uh, resettle itself and, and figure everything out and in a peaceful way we pray to the Lord. For our families, our relatives and friends, for those who have asked us to pray for them, those for whom we have promised to pray, for those who have no one to pray for them and those in need of healing, we pray to the Lord. And for a safe and good completion of the harvest, we pray to the Lord. And for all who have passed from this life, and the intent of this Mass for Monsignor Jeff Wall, that all may be rejoicing in the kingdom of heaven, the glory of God. We ask this through Christ our Lord. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, and blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. Our prayer of spiritual communion. 
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never let me be parted from you. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Michael the Archangel, defend us.